Hello people on the internet! Today we'll have another writing video and we'll continue with our harmful writing advice series. Today we're talking about another writing advice that is not the big one everybody speaks about, you know which I'm talking about, and it's Writer's Rewrite. of uh, this series, Harmful Writing Advice, is how some uh, advice that were often told in the writing world and they're often repeated by people and used all the time can prove harmful to your writing progress. And the reason why this advice can be harmful is not because they're bad advice. On the contrary, each and every piece of advice we talk about in this series is great and can considerably help you be a better writer. However, because it is a great advice, it's often used and abused and it can lead to some attitudes that seriously hamper you from becoming a better writer. And today we talk about writer's rewrite, which basically it means that you don't just publish your first draft. You go down, you edit your novel, you do some rewrites, you identify and fix all the problems about it. Simple, right? Well, yes, uh, editing is very important because no first draft is perfect. It can be good. A first draft can be good. It may only take some minor edits and you have a viable product. That's perfectly fine. However, most of the times there are errors, there are plot holes, there are a lot of stuff that I'm fixing and when you go and edit or rewrite a novel, you uh, set the pace better, you fix places where something is lagging or going too fast when you first drafted it, you fill in some plot holes that come up later, maybe you set up things that will come that you haven't thought about when writing, but they come later on the plot because you had an epiphany or because they were in the outline you had, but you haven't thought about setting them up before, or maybe you haven't thought how they affect previous effects, or you want to foresight or anything. There are a lot of things that uh, can go wrong in a first draft, and editing and rewriting parts of your novel is a great way to fix them. However, the idea that writers rewrite can lead to an eternal cycle of revisions. Because if a first draft is bad, no matter your rewrites, you cannot save it. And doing drafts after drafts after drafts is not fixing things. And the worst thing you can do is actually write a chapter and then go back and edit it and rewrite it and rewrite it and rewrite it. Um, I've heard stories of uh, people who have gone in a draft, they've written it and then they dumped it halfway through and then rewritten it from the beginning and on and on and on. And sometimes you ju you're just stuck in one chapter and you try to make it perfect while drafting. And that's not productive attitude because you just stay there and eternally fix something. And believe me, you've met this person or maybe you've been this person, you have this idea in your uh, teenage years of uh, an epic decalogy and it's gonna be mind-blowingly good. So you sit down and you write the first book and you're what, your teens, maybe your early twenties, maybe it's the first thing you write and you're older than that, maybe you're, I don't know, uh, 30 or 40 or just got into your pension, you want to be a writer because you've always dreamed of that but you never had the time and you had this amazing idea, you write it and it's not quite good. So you go back and rewrite your first book again and again and again. And that's not good because you probably have some structural problems with your novel. Maybe your themes are all over the place. Maybe there are things that you would learn by writing books 2, 3 and 4, but you haven't learned them yet. 
so you don't apply them to fix the issues of your novel. Maybe your outline and your characters are wrong because you had this idea in your head for so long and you've been fixated on it and added stuff on it that they don't fit in your outline or in your first draft and you have a lot of uh, clutter in there. Um, I was recently reading Chris Fox's uh, 5,000 words per hour and in this book I don't have a review yet, I don't know if I will make one. If you want a review of this book, leave a comment below and ask for it and I'll see what I can do. In this book he advocates sprinting and sprinting without editing, without looking for your writing and he makes it a point that some people constantly rewrite the same chapter over and over and they never learn how to write a book this way. They just learn how to rewrite one thing. Just uh, drafting something to the end, finishing it is a great learning experience. Uh, in a previous video I've said that a novel is like running a marathon and you do that one sprint at a time. I was using a short story as an example of a sprint that marathon runners write short stories and learn how to build uh, the writing craft to do a novel. That was my whole idea. There is a link somewhere. Um, somewhere, I don't know. Running a marathon means that you have to run uh, smaller parts of the route in a succession and um, just rerunning the same part of the route over and over fixes nothing. You can make your time for a specific part of the route great, but you still have to run the other routes. And I don't know, I mean, you can run and practice each and every part of the route over and over. You can run the same route over and over. And yes, there will be some improvement, I guess. But the point is running the route, finishing it, and then running another route, another route, another route, or writing another book, another book, another book. Sometimes you have to finish your writing because you don't get enough improvement by your rewrites. You're just fiddling with stuff and it leads to a marginal um, improvement. So it's a waste of time. You should finish the draft and just put it out there and hope it w people will like it or just hate it and... You can go for another book, I don't know. Or you should just scrap the book because it's not working. And maybe start over with all the things you've learned from your experience. Or just write something else and see what you will learn from it. Try writing. I don't know if you have the epic decalogy of fantasy books in your mind and you want to write them. Maybe you should read a couple of one-offs before going there. Uh, because writing a whole book will definitely help you improve and write your big fantasy series through your experience. Um, just fiddling things and rewriting things over and over and over is not helpful. And believe me, sometimes rewriting your second or third draft is good enough. You shouldn't rewrite over and over to prove you're a good writer, unless you're bitter readers to you so. But that's another question. So yes. Writers are right, it's a great advice, but you should know when to stop rewriting and go on and write something else or continue writing your draft or just scrapping the whole thing and start over. That was my um, opinion on the, how this advice can harm your progress as a writer. I'm definitely not suffering from uh, this advice. Uh, I should follow it more often to be honest, but I would love to hear your opinions about it. Do you believe that writers who write is good advice or bad advice or do you think it does more harm than good? Your choice, uh, leave a comment with your opinion. You can always uh, like this video if you found it interesting and you've reached this point. Subscribe for more videos like that and I'll see you soon. Thank you for watching.